it's Monday afternoon-ish. Um, I'm over my jet lag. And um, I said I would give you a quick update on how the weekend went, given the fact that obviously I'm trying to get myself back into ketosis, which is the main um, goal. Oh, I'm a wee bit unsteady on my feet here. What am I doing? Anyway, uh, I've got bare feet and I'm running around like a mad dog. Anyway. So, um, Saturday night, had about 10 marshmallows. So we're sitting there. Again, if anything is in this place, and I know it, that it's in this place, I'll eat it. I'm disgusting. But anyway. Um, so 10 marshmallows. So Saturday was like, so yesterday was the first day where I really persevered with the uh, getting back into ketosis again. Um, I had a bulletproof, a couple of bulletproof coffees, and I also had my mints and spinach, uh, cream cheese, and a bit of sriracha, which is my favourite thing, sauce. So... so all very good, all very um, weighed, measured, whatever, all it put into my fitness pal. And um, when I did my video on Saturday, it was 204.8. Today I was uh, 201.6. So starting to lose a lot of that water um, bloating that the, uh, the carbs give me under no illusion that I've lost any, you know, fat weight. This is just getting rid of the bloat again. Um, I did say I would do a wee pee stick test, so, um, just fresh off the pot. Hang on, can you see that? Uh, if I tilt it a wee bit, you can see that it's pink. So I'm back in ketosis, folks. There, um, there are ketones in my urine. So, uh, not having any ill effects, I have to say. No fluey, no uh, headaches or anything, really. That may yet come. Um, but uh, I'm producing ketones again, so hopefully a lot of those carbs are now um, gone from the body. Today I've had two uh, Bulletproof coffees, uh, my butter coffees, and I'm going to have some um, chicken breast this evening with a wee bit of cream cheese, a wee bit of sriracha sauce. And some celery, I think I have. Oh no, if I eat all the celery. Oh, I think I've eaten all the celery. Um, I'm sure I'll find some. Oh, I've got some cabbage in the freezer, frozen cabbage, so I might have that. So, back in ketosis after two days, which is brilliant. Woo! Um, and uh, keeping going strong. Don't feel any um, cravings or, well, how can I say I don't feel any cravings when I had those bloody marshmallows Saturday night and the mint imperials Friday night? What am I like? Anyway, no. Um, as long as it's not in the house, then it's no. There's no. There's no cravings. Everything is psychological, as it always is, um, with me. Um, temptation's a bitch, isn't it? Anyway, this is a really short one to say. Back in ketosis, the bloat is coming back off again. So hopefully by Friday when we do um, our proper way in video um we'll have some more good news again I, this is not a week that i am trying to lose weight this is about getting back um strong again into ketosis strong again into the regime and um enjoying the food that i love to eat which is basically anything meat plus green veg I mean, how could you go wrong? Add in a little bit of cream cheese for um, for a night to create a nice sauce and a bit of the my chili sauce. I mean, that's really. I mean, my green veg and that chili sauce is the only friggin' um, carbs I'm putting into myself. Now, I had a shock yesterday. I'll tell you this now. So, five hundred grams of mints. and that was pretty much the only meal I had, apart from the butter coffee. But you know, in, in terms of the thing. There's a lot of calories in 500 grams of mints, but it's all good stuff. It's all good protein as well. So I had a bag of spinach, 200 grams, and I had maybe five or six stalks or uh, short, you know, the short stalks of celery. Weighed everything. I put it into the machine. It was about 20 car. Oh, it was cows. 20 carbs. There's about seven carbs in a good chunk of um, celery. Now that might seem like nothing. But when you are like me and you're trying to keep your carb count 
well below 20 and, and if you know they're definitely below 15 when you start getting 18 21 because of the amount of vegetables you're putting in it's a bit scary now on the face of it that's nothing and honestly if i have to eat 20 30 grams of green veg every day well it's beautiful tasty and coming in the summer i'm just gonna have to um lump it um like i say my goal is I think in my fitness pal, my goal is 14. That allows me some leeway up to about 20, okay? I'm not being so super strict that if I go a gram over or something, you know, I have to take it out of the um, out of the pot. No, um, I'm being sensible and I'm eating good stuff. Celery, broccoli, spinach. Um, and these are all good fibrous foods as well. Uh, full of good vitamins and stuff so you know I'm happy um, I want to throw the odd wee bit of a cherry tomato in as well half the time for colour because um, you know I don't know whether you've ever been told you should always eat a rainbow uh, although I'm not allowed beetroots or anything like that there so I can't or carrots so I can't really get much of a rainbow in but um, I'm getting an Italian flag in there with the green the red and the and the white with the cream cheese so we'll go for that anyway quickie quickie video um back in ketosis back on track fingers crossed for all the bloat to come off um by friday so we can sort of draw a line under it and we're progressing um into the summer uh love to get another stone off for the summer so that's about what six weeks away now six weeks if i can get a stone off um i'd be pleased as punch and then we'll take another stone off over the summer um, and another stone off towards Christmas. Um, so that'll be three stone I'm trying to lose then. Maybe four stone if I'm if I'm good to myself. Three stone minimum, four stone maximum uh, loss for the rest of the year. So anyway, don't want to go into too much onto that. But um, we quickie update. Love you all. Bye. Oh, forgot to turn it off.